What's up everybody? Welcome back to his basketball court. Now in today's video we're going to be doing kind of a different video. We're going to be showing you how we made and renovate our basketball court. This basketball court. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty interesting video if you've been looking forward to seeing how you can make your own basketball court in your backyard at home. And it withstands weather and it does the job so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Bricks we use to make this corner are bricks you can find at any hardware store. As you can see, we're going to be using those bricks right over there, the same kind as these, and we're just going to be extending it. It's going to be pretty cool before shots. So, this is what our court looked like before we did anything to it. Alright, so the first step we do is we take out these three small bricks in the front and we cut up and dig up all this dirt. So when you put a brick, it's the same level as the ones that are already there. So let's see how it turns out after the first step. aligned by cutting the grass where we want to put the new bricks and we've kind of traced it out drawn it out you can see the kind of cuts there now we dig it up by doing this it's hard work but when you're done trust me it's worth it you can see we're still in the first stages but when you cut it out, it won't be very straight. No grass is perfectly straight. So you either using like gravel, some sand, it's up to you, but you wanna make it straight because if it's uneven, it's not fun. Just started the second row, you see that's how you cut it out. And then you just rip it out and we're putting it over there for now. I'm not sure if you can see this, but these are the layers of grass we already cut out. It's hard work, but it's definitely worth it. Now, as we're making our court extension, you guys were probably wondering how we made it in the first place. And we have to measure it before you make anything, because if you make a mistake, it's hard to redo it, and it's not fun. So it's 12 feet wide. From side to side, the key is 12 feet wide. We did only the key because that's how much we had, that's how many bricks we had at the time. We might extend it, never know. But from the backboard to the free throw line, that's 15 feet. And if you guys are making a three point line, it's 19 feet and nine inches from the backboard. Those are the dimensions of our court. If you guys want to do that for yourself, I really recommend it. It's hard work, but it's definitely going to pay off. Almost done the second row. Now you guys are going to encounter worms. That's perfectly normal. It's underground. That's where they live. We'll see you in a little bit when we get on to the third row. Quick trivia for you guys. How many rings did Michael Jordan win? Tell me in the comments down below. If you search it up, it's not your answer. So what we used to kind of align the grass to see what we're gonna cut out, we use this thing. I think it's an icebreaker. I don't know the exact name, but it's a straight line all the way across, and then you take the small shovel over there, and you use that to cut out all the grass, and that's how you end up with these dirt patches. Then you're cutting it out like this, you want to cut it out the size of your bricks. We're doing about 10 inches, less, a little bit less than a foot, but still a good amount. Just make sure measuring it being precise because mistakes are not what you need when building a basketball court. Okay, trivia question number two, guys. Who has the most NBA championships 
in all of history? Tell me in the comments below. And don't search it up. As you can see, we've cleaned out all three roads. We've removed all the access soil. Now all we have left is a clean slate of just dirt. And this is the, where we go into the next. So now we've just put these rocks down. And we're about to put some bricks down on top of it. It's kind of to level it out a little bit more. So let's see how it turns out. Ladies and gentlemen, you have seen the making of history. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that's how we do it. That's how we made our court. So when you're placing these rocks down, make sure you make it even. Because it's supposed to be another layer of even. It's not supposed to be messing up your whole project. So, so you guys know, you can put your net in the ground. But if you get a net on the bars where you need a base, Fill your base with sand because if you fill it with water in the winter, you have to take it out because it freezes. If you fill it with sand, you can leave it in all season, all year, and it does the job. I don't have to put anything extra on it. And it's really windy right now, and it hasn't blown over. So sand is probably your best choice. All right, third trivia question. Does Kareem Abdul-Jabbar have more rings than Michael Jordan? Less rings than Michael Jordan, or the same amount as rings as Michael Jordan? Tell me in the comments down below. Again, don't search it up. We'll see how many you guys get right. Also, if you guys ever want to build a court like this, make sure you're ready for some work because this isn't a five minute deal. It takes some time, it takes some effort, but if you do it, it'll definitely 100% be worth it. As you can see, we've completed the first row of bricks. It's space in between, but that's for the next step. This is what it looks like when it starts off. First row completed. Now, as you can see here, we've extended it. We've cut off more of that layer of grass. Remember, it's just the grass. Don't dig it up. This is how it looks like. Can't see it because it's shade, but... We've just cut out the new layer and are, and are putting some more gravel on. Remember when you're cutting it, you're not digging it up, you're just cutting the grass off. Remember to put the gravel on to get a little bit more even. And the dirt will fall over time, but the grass, not the grass, the gravel stays strong. It's kind of, it's a, it's a really good way for this to stay even. This mixture of rocks and sand is called limestone screenings if you want to buy it you can find it at most hardware stores again limestone screenings that's what we used done the second layer of bricks just making sure it's even it's hard work but it's definitely gonna be worth it in the end thanks to my dad for making this possible go give some love to your dads right now shout out dad
we just finished cutting out all of the extension we're gonna do. We cut off the grass off the top and now we're about to put most of those bricks right here. We'll see how it turns out. What's up guys, checking in, and today we are almost done, we have completed our goal of doing five rows, we're actually expecting six, but five works. Now the next step, you sift sand in to fill in the cracks, we'll show you that right now. too much in one, you just want to spread it out. Make sure you don't have any sand piles left on over because you'll slip on the sand when you're playing and that's not good. So, yeah, just do this. sand into those. Even if you're a kid that's more into court and your dad built it, you can finally do something. <laughs> the rain will wash some away, but it's better to build it on a sunny day so the rain doesn't wash it away immediately. Now as we near the end of our project, we ended right here. This was our basketball court beforehand, and now we have built the extension. I'm not even, I think this is honestly a three point line, three point shot right here. Seems pretty far. But yeah, this is how you build your own basketball court at home. And all you need to build this are some stones, some sand, some of that limestone screening I showed you, shovel, and definitely some commitment and hard work. But if you get it done, it'll definitely pay off. Y'all remember those beginning shots? Well, these are the after. <laughs> Let's go. Remember filming it from here and only having that much. Guess what? It's the extension. And you guys can use these things I just taught you to build your whole court. You don't have to just build an extension with this. You can build everything out of what I just taught you.
but you got to need some determination. Thanks for watching, everybody. That is how you build your court at home. Just like What's up, everybody? Welcome back. It's a new day. It's a new part of the video. I have a few more things to tell you really quick. So, when you're making this platform, you can do it for your whole court, right? You can do the same thing for your whole court, but you have to make sure that you sift this sand, or you put the sand in so it's all the way to the top, and it makes it as if it's one long, stable rock. And also, you just cut out the grass from underneath, make that grass and put it here so that's at the same level of the bricks so that there's, so that these bricks are super stable because you want it to be perfect so it turns out very And if you guys are saying, oh well, I can't find these long bricks at my hardware store, then just use smaller bricks. It's a lot easier to find. If you can't find these at your hardware store, try a different hardware store. But it's, it's a lot easier to find. You have to use all the same steps, but it's just more work because it's more pieces. The reason why you want to do it perfectly is because if you don't make it perfect the first time, these cracks will happen. You can fix them if you have long rocks like this and they crack. You can fix them by putting some sand in them, but it's still hard to get over because you crack the rock. It's, it's, still, it's not going to be as perfect as it would have been if you made it perfect the first time. So, as you can see, we just took out all five bricks, and we're putting some more of this rock sand mixture here. You don't have to, but we always do. We did for every single one of those bricks. It, it makes it better, but, again, optional. You guys don't have to. Right now, the reason that we're doing this is so that we can level it. Because again, as I said, if you level it, if you make it perfect, it's a much better course. Right now, the reason that we're doing this is so that we can level it. Because again, as I said, if you level it, if you make it perfect, it's a much better course. Just removed this side's bricks. About to do the same thing we did to this side. Put some more limestone screening and or the rock and sand mixture. To get to
Okay, so the last time I talked to you guys, I believe I told you that we take these bricks out and we put the limestone screening on. We actually took both out at the same time and we put the limestone screening on together. I'm saying limestone screening, that's just the rock and sand mixture, that's just what it's called. What do you think is the hardest part of this project? Cutting the grass was very hard. Cutting it out with your hand? Yes. Alright. Y'all gotta be prepared for cutting the grass out then. Also this stage is also hard. Taking it out? Taking it out all the time. Alright. It's hard work, but if you get if you get it done, trust me, it'll be worth it in the end. I just learned the reason that you put that this material down is because when you put the bricks down, somehow it compacts. I'm not sure how. They're rocks and they're sand, but it compacts. And look at how sturdy this is. It's not shaking. Like, whatsoever. It's, it's really sturdy. It's a really good material. So you might be wondering, oh, what the heck? I can just put it on the dirt. Skip this step. Don't skip this step. Trust me. Do this step. just took off and replaced every single one of these bricks about a week later after for them sitting after them sitting for a little bit now there's a still there's still a few cracks here that's where the sand comes in again so let's get to putting some sand in those cracks yikes i didn't hear how weird that sounded and now the sand we're putting down is just any regular play sand it can be any sand you find at any stores. You just want to fill up all of the cracks to make sure there's nothing left over so there's no holes and it's very, very sturdy. In addition to the video, I think I've said this at least 30 times already. You gotta make it perfect. If it's not perfect, if it's wobbling, take it out, make it level because trust me, you don't want to fix it in five months. You want to fix it right now, make it perfect right now so then you can play on it for years to come. And right after putting the sand in, like I am right here, you can still see there's still some leftover sand. Don't play on it right away, or if you do play on it, be careful because it's, it's sand. It's really slippery. So this is how you build your own basketball court at home with some easy do-it-yourself materials. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.